Today, I'm gonna be sharing five lessons I've learned this year because tomorrow is my birthday. I'm turning another year younger. So, number one, the first lesson that I learned was to invest in myself. What does that mean? Well, I learned to invest in myself financially because I learned as an Asian American, Chinese American, we all love to save, 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 and be frugal and find the best deals and discounts. But I realized the time it takes to find the best deals and all that was not worth uh, the money that I was saving. And so I learned to just spend money on myself for vacation because <laughs> in, in my book, from my culture, I think vacation was like wasteful. I had this mindset that spending money on it would be wasteful, but I realized how necessary it was. So I learned to just spend money because I am worth it. I'm worth the celebration and relaxation. Number two, I'm worth investing in money for self growth as well. So some of you don't know, I've been teaching voice and piano for 13 years. And I was like, no, I'm done. I think I need a career change. I'm so burnt out. I was thinking about doing life coaching or something. But I realized that it wasn't so much I was burnt out of teaching. I was burnt out of teaching piano beginner students, which I had a lot of. And so I became be, began a journey of kind of exploring, okay, what are my true passions? If I'm so burnt out not enjoying my life, what um, what am I truly passionate about? And I found out it's actually teaching voice and writing songs. So I had to let go a lot of students, probably 75% of my students were piano students. I had to take a big risk, but I learned to take ownership of, of my own life. And I even paid for a coach and it spent the most money I've ever spent on my life for my self growth. I was actually having like heart palpitations <laughs> paying my coach to sign up but it's been a great investment and because I've invested in that that's also why I started this YouTube channel because my passion is to write songs and to bless and encourage you all out there with that uh, number three I saw the fruit of how powerful worship dancing is I mean I knew that once I got, when I got healed radically, you'll, you, if you look back on my videos of Never Let Go, I share a little bit about my radical physical and emotionally healing testimony. Then I began to learn how powerful dance can be. It's not just that this aesthetic, beautiful movement or performance, but it actually changes the atmosphere and heals people and brings salvation to people, like more powerful than a a preaching message can be a sermon and so uh, I went to Brazil last year on a missions trip with Randy Clark very powerful and God nudged me to dance and I was in no shape at that time to dance because I had COVID I was tired but I just felt like God if if you can bless someone through my dancing I do not want to withhold it so I danced in front of thousands of people at this conference you know and I found out later that people were getting healed of emotional traumas like depression and anxiety and uh, uh, church wounds it honestly those are things I've struggled with myself and I was like wow so I started you know dancing when I came back here dancing live on Facebook and prophesying over people on during that same trip with Brazil, I, well, 10 years ago, I got hit that same day. I got radically transformed. I got hit with the supernatural joy of the, of the Lord. I had so much pain in my life, in my body, that the joy of the Lord became my strength. And I've been translating that more into my life now. Like for example, I do not, I did not like roller coaster rides. It would freak me out. I did not want to die and go to heaven just yet. And so, um, you know, this time when I went to Disneyland, my friend's like, let's go. And instead of freaking out, I started laughing. And I started having such a good time on the roller coaster ride. 
And then when I had get in a really stressful conversation with someone, like heated discussion, I used to get amped up. But now, like, it's like I just start laughing. <laughs> so my point is, the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. And I realized what a powerful weapon that is against lies and anger and frustration and stress and fear. And then lastly, this is also a lesson I'm continual learning, is letting go of perfectionism and allowing more grace into my life. Yes, I want to be excellent, but perfectionism actually kills joy and robs peace and creativity, actually. And so even though I, and creativity is all that I do, you, you, you know, I love to write music, dance, art. And so what I've learned is instead of having the standard of myself that I have to reach for me to love myself or to feel worthy of love is that I'm like, hey, you know, I'm good enough, I'm worthy, I'm loved, I'm doing the best that I can, and I invite God's grace into my life. And the more I can do that, the more I've been able to actually give that to others, which is really powerful. So these are just five quick lessons that I've learned, well, not quick, but lessons that I've learned the past year and I'm still learning. And if you have any questions about what I shared about Joy the Lord or dancing, feel free to message me or comment. And if you like, I would love your support. So click subscribe and I'd love to see you on my next video.